What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, man. I don't know if this is going to make a video or not. I have no idea. Uh, but the other day, um, my buddy Adam called me, and he's like, Man, I think they might be banding geese at the park. Which, if you've been here a while, I have came to the park uh, before and shown you guys how many banded honkers there are here. So, that's one thing. We already have a uh, big population of banded honkers here. I think in that one video that I did, which I don't know that was last year or the year before, I think there was 18 to 20. Um, so we're here to look at legs to see if they actually did do an entire banding process here. I can't tell from the truck. We have to get out and walk around, I think. But um, I kind of wanted to cruise down here while they were doing it that day, but I didn't want to be interruptive and, you know, interrupt their process by trying to film them do it. And, you know, can be too abrasive at times. But let's take a uh, little walk around here and uh, take a gander. But yeah, like I was saying, Adam was like, man, every game warden, every ranger, DNR person, he was like, there's a ton of people there and it looks like they have nets. First off, before we get going, if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Secondly, we are booking hunts uh, for my lodge. Um, we'll end the video there, how about that? But uh, we have a lot of good November dates available. Ducks are open during that time. Everything's open, specs. Um, so, if you want a good speckle belly, duck hunt, maybe some honkers, actually probably some of these banded honkers, I'm not going to lie. They're going to get mixed up in our spreads. We're going to end up shooting some of these, not on purpose whatsoever, but let's get to looking. My guide service is always linked down in the description. When you go there, uh, fill out the inquire to book form. Uh, please, 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 serious inquirers only. If you are a kid wanting to talk to me, please don't waste my time. I don't know how many calls I've had like that. Please, serious inquirers only. All right. Okay. Oh boy. Holy cow, they did. I can't zoom in really far, but okay let's see here what i can see one two three four five six seven eight nine holy cow that entire group of geese right here they're all banded every single one of them every yeah every single one of these birds are banded that one, this guy here, he double banded? Stop walking, dude, so I can see your left leg. No, he's not double banded, okay. Holy cow. Like, dude, they're not scared of you too much. Look, he's banded, that's an old band. It's a big goose. These birds are all bred fed. So the older ones have been here for a while like him. That's probably, I don't know. I don't know how old that band is. It could be seven years old. I would guess like seven, eight, probably year old band. Uh, but I am seeing a lot of new bands. Holy smokes, guys. So, um, like I was saying, we will accidentally shoot some of these birds. I don't know how many they banded. I wanted to get a rough number on them. I don't target bands, you know, um, especially when we're hunting fields around town and they are honkers. Usually if they're honker bands in the field, they're from the park. So we usually don't really try to go after those, those birds, especially, you know, this year because all these bands, a lot of them are brand new, like that one right there. Look at that one. So that guy right there is a very young honker. So is that one. Look how young. They still have peach fuzz on their head, and they have brand new bands on their legs. Look at that, both of them. Even this guy, these are all yearlings. They are just, actually not yearlings, they are probably born this spring. 
They already have, they already have bands on their legs. Oh boy, howdy. So right here, um, I have not seen a goose without a band. Let me get to counting. I haven't seen any banded ducks yet. There is a woody over here though that I do want to check. That's crazy, they banded all of them. So I counted 50 right there. And now here's another pod of birds that I need to count. Oh my God, there's tons. Holy crap. Wow. This here might be really interesting. That's the thing I don't like doing. I do not promote, I do not condone, I don't promote at all um, <clears throat> band hunting freshly banded birds. I don't like that. Um, they're banded uh, for research and they need to travel over some time, over some years. You know, if we were to go and just whack all these in one hunt, you know, not all of them, but a big percentage of them, that is. Uh, all those guys that came out here and did that work, it was hard, I guarantee it. There was a lot of planning involved. There was a lot of people traveling from other counties, other states. I don't know the whole deal, but that's one thing I don't want to do is, you know, get in the way of, interrupt their research. It's, um, it's done for a reason. Here's that Woody I was talking about. I don't, his little legs are too short. He had a fat wood duck. I wish I had my big limbs for you guys. I don't think I see a band on them. Look at all these birds, they're banded. All these birds in front of us are banded. All of them. Every single honker, every goose is banded. I'm just looking at the ducks now. So here's the other pod underneath this tree. And every one that is standing, every single one, looks to be banded. Yeah. Uh, is that one banded? So I'm just moving real nice and delicate, not trying to disrupt them. Just trying to get a number. Are you banded, big guy? Huh? Oh, he's banded. He just stood up. What's up, big fella? Can you put your right leg down for me? Go on. Go on. Lower it. That one over there that's standing up's banded. All these are banded. Check it out. Yes, he, big guy, is banded. I just seen it. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. No. Yes. All these birds are definitely banded as well. This entire family of honkers here is banded. And look at all of the honkers up here, y'all. If all these birds are banded. Okay. Here is the other pod of birds on the other pond. I'm going to randomly look real quick through them and see if I see one that doesn't have a band. And right now... Okay, that one right there doesn't. So that's one that does not. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the only one I'm seeing that's not banded. Oh my goodness, all these have bands. Oh man, so just this pod of birds here, there is roughly, I don't know, probably 70 birds right here and still i've only seen there's one so that's two possibly that aren't banded in this set group of 70. so that's 50 plus 33 plus 70 so far you do the math and this whole bank is full of geese there's another 30 easily over there across the pond and then right here check this out there's another 25 ish out in the water Gosh. well um i'm excited and the biggest reason is it's cool to shoot a band shooting a young bed band to me like this is not cool um it's going to be interesting to see um where our honkers that you know come down here to winter and end up staying throughout you know however many years nest and then travel on you know, following flocks, create their own new families. If they stay here, if they end up in Canada, maybe some some of these birds might get shot up in Manitoba. You know, so pretty cool. I uh, I'm wondering if anybody knows how. I, I'm not 
big on this. I don't know a bunch about it. If you know how to look up the research, you know, with bands being called in from certain areas, I just, I'd love to see where these birds actually get taken from as long as it's not around this area. You know, that's just, it's not cool, but. And you know what? It happens on accident, guys. Like, like I said, I'm sure there's, there's obviously, I don't know what they banded exactly, but there's obviously over. Oh man, I would say rough guess, rough, rough guess. There used to be 20 to 30. I think now there's 200. My rough guess, there's definitely 200 bands here right now. So it's going to be interesting um, what information they get out of it, you know. Now, guys, again, it is not cool. If you're, if you are young and you like to do dumb things, don't do it. Don't go set up on the local field. Do your glass work, you know. If, you, uh, if you're from my area, which there's a lot of you that are, um, use your binoculars. Look at the birds. If they're all banded like this and they're all honkers and they're shiny bands, man, you might think twice about going out there and just, you know, slaughtering them, honestly, because I'm telling you this, you kill 10 of these in one go or more, it's not illegal. There's nothing illegal about it, but you're not going to make those those DNR guys, those game warden guys that came out here and sweated their butt off on 105 degree day, days probably, uh, you're not going to make them happy. And you're not doing any justice for the research, the development, the knowledge that we're trying to, they, but we as humans, trying to acquire. So use your knocks, do your good glass work, and uh, respect the sport of waterfowl. I call it a sport, hobby, recreation, passion, love of the bird, you know? Respect it. Respect your local DNR for sure. Oh, come on, big dog, let's go. Good boy. Hi there, Frederick. How are you, buddy? Oh, Frederick. Um, the last video before this one, yeah, is the video over the new dog that I bought and the reasons why I'm having to retire. Fred, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's a good one. A very heartfelt video. Um, I had to put my, my other dog down last week and I described that as well and, and just everything. Um, dogs are a big part of my life. Fred has always been a family dog, a lodge dog, uh, but I have to save his life now by not hunting him so much. So. Anyways, we're here at the lodge. If you haven't seen this place, which a lot of you have, uh, maybe this is your first time. I'll show it to you real fast. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Oh, yeah, so a lot of you have seen the lodge. A lot of you were here as we built it. Um, not much new except for, if you didn't see this video, uh, new mounts going up. This one here, blue goose, and then this one here is uh, the first goose that lesser in fact that i shot on the property um last year and uh it's pretty special it was just going over the house during season awesome and then this side we moved some walkers up front so now as you can see the whole flock coming in feeding on the top of the light air getting ready to put two specks two of gerald's specks up there in the flock so probably like right in here Anyways, I did the whole video over that one. That was a few videos ago. You should go watch it as well. Lots of content on the channel, guys. I'm trying to mix it up. I'm trying to get activated because uh, we are very, very close. Get not Okay, not very close. We're getting close to hunting season. Um, doves fire up September 1. And it's just after that, teal, ducks, geese. So, I mean, realistically, how many days away is dove season? Not very many, month and a half, a little over a month and a half, you know. So I am getting fired up about it, and a lot of you are too. This is uh, where a lot of our clients come from. Mm -hmm. Not many on the West Coast. Serious inquirers only, fill out that form, yours truly, or my wife will be contacting you to see if we can work something out. Group sizes from 2 to 14, doesn't matter. We also are possibly going to have hotel groups available, so that is a cheaper route, um, different package. So if you're interested in any of them, fill out the form and I will get a hold of you. 
that is a ton of honkers at the park. Um, our park has always been a banning site. Um, they used to ban back in the day. And I don't think they have for, you know, I don't know, eight years, five years, seven years, I'm not sure. But to see that, man, I've never, I personally have never seen that many banded birds in one spot. So, wow, wow. Thank you all for being here. I'm not gonna blab any longer. Real quickly, these shoes, yep, the ducks shoes check them out got the old cup ducks pattern both these and the old school camo versions will be available july 14th but you can download the ducks app uh and get these two days sooner so july 12th remember if you buy anything from ducks bucks or guggen use code bob bob at checkout to save yourself some money and when you use that code it gives me some credit so they see I'm doing my, my job. <laughs> if you use it, I really appreciate it, honestly. But thank y'all for being here. Until next time.